Oh my gosh, what am I gonna okay, do with I don't, my life? I don't, I'm not that what dramatic. What am I gonna do? Okay, you're just, you're being extreme. And then he starts crying. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna <laughs> Good morning! It's probably one of the coldest mornings of the year so far. I got into it with one of the kids over wearing a heavy coat. <laughs> this was right before they left for school and I just put my foot down. I'm like, you're gonna wear the coat. So daddy dropped them off to school and he said, right when she got out of the car, she removed the coat. She was coatless in the cold air going into school. So the stubbornness is real. Like I just don't get it. It's like some kids feel like they're just immune to the cold as if they're polar bears or something. I don't get it. On the bright side, no pun intended, it's nice to see the sun out and it's an instant mood lifter. Kalia! But anyway, last night was pretty rough. Leah Bear thought it'd be cute to wake up in the middle of the night. Look at that girl. Hi, Leah. Hi. But we're all in a good mood this morning, though. Okay, I gotta fix the bed to put laundry on it. That's how we do in this house. Brush your teeth in the morning and night. Did you bring your whole wardrobe here? Because you've been looking sharp all weekend. A suit. I heard you were coming, so I got dressed up. <laughs> Anyways, we're here in the studio. I haven't recorded an interview in a while. Philip was nice enough to hang out here this last weekend in Seattle. There was a lot of creators, specifically food content creators. It all was because Philip said he was gonna be in Seattle. I'm so glad we got to cook and yeah. hang out. I don't, did you see the vlog yet? Like you were making I did. Walk I did. And stuff? Actually, my uh, sister-in-law, she was like, oh my God, you're famous. Oh, really? Yeah, she famous. Watches you're already you famous. You don't need us to do that. You guys all the time. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much for acknowledging like the different people that you guys know. And it was nice to hear that you guys were fans of some of the other people, especially Joanne, the Korean vegan. Like for being meat eaters, you know, I do apologize for showing you all these different animal products. Um, but I think we're going to explore eating more vegan food. How was your morning so far? Crazy. How was Leah? She was good. She just played while I folded clothes and then she grabbed things out of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you mention that she woke up at 2 a.m.? A little bit. And hung out with us? Yeah, but she was in a good mood today though. Of course. She yeah. gets everything and anything that she wants. <sighs> Are you okay? Are you gonna cry too? Cry? <laughs> Why would I cry? You're so tired. Oh yeah, I'm tired, but I'm so tired this morning. I was, honey. I was, I'm so tired. I was acting. I was definitely whining a little bit, but I was so sleep deprived. But thanks for bringing the girls to school, though. Yeah, basically doing it all, taking care of Leah last night, watching animal documentaries, giving <laughs> her milk. You oh, didn't wait. give her milk. Oh yeah, I you, did. you gave her milk. It's so weird because she'll sleep through the night for 12 hours yeah. for consecutive days. And then one day she's like, mm, I'm ready to go hang out, guys. <laughs> and, and she'll then, throw her blankie out. Here's and the thing. It's like, a legit excuse. I, you know, sometimes I'm worried because, you know, she's she's teething. More teeth are coming out. Or I thought. But when she sees me she and I hold her, she's like, the cry is turned off. Mm -hmm. She's not whining. She mm -hmm. doesn't look like she's in pain. She just wants to be held and hugged, you know? And I In the middle of the night. I, I will I will confess. I don't mind. Because when I'm sitting down there watching cheetahs and wolves or even she monkeys. Loves animals, she loves monkeys. Face. She goes, ooh ah ah right? That's the most adorable thing, so I can't complain. But I, I, I was I was gonna work out yesterday. I didn't have the energy. I was gonna get up at 6.30 a.m. I woke up at 2 a.m. So I slept till literally 8.30 a.m. Well, I was trying to tell Benji, sometimes you think life is supposed to be like a smooth line and everything's supposed to go as planned. Like clockwork. And yeah. anytime something gets out of line, he's like, Oh my gosh, what am I gonna okay, do? I with don't, my I don't, I'm not that what dramatic. What am I gonna do? Okay, you're just, you're being extreme. And then he starts crying. <laughs> I'm going to tickle you. <laughs> I, I do just, not cry. It's just funny because it, it, this conversation always comes up. You think it's abnormal for a baby. Oh, I, I definitely know it's not abnormal, but I also understand 
that you can observe and adjust. So I want to yeah. find out what is going on, if there is something. And I, I, I'm very, I'd say, graceful with the fact that it's not gonna be perfect. So that meant I slept in. I didn't get to work out this morning. I just cleared my schedule to be able to exercise here right now. I'll exercise right now. Yeah, and I'll just get things done a little bit later and do less. And that's just, that's called the parent life. It Parents, can you relate? It's the parent work from home life especially. Yeah. So it's a privilege to have these oh, yeah. kind of issues and to be home with our kids. So, I know. I'd know. much rather have that and obviously um, juggle the randomness of having a toddler. It's just, I, I hope this ain't being traumatic as you would <laughs> say. Um, it still um, can be tough. It's just and that's draining. okay, and it's okay if it's tough. It's just life. And I'm okay with it being tough, and I understand it's life. Yeah. But I can still try to make it easier on you, number one. Whoa! It's like sometimes you, it, you just need to take a chill pill, I. <laughs> the dinosaur is awake. <sighs> yeah. Go put Blanky back in bed. Back inside. Good girl. Okay, let's go downstairs. Downstairs, boo. Let's go downstairs. You want apples? Uh uh, close that. Want apples? Okay, let's go. Mm hmm. Downstairs. Careful. <laughs> She's so excited to go get daddy. Daddy, she's ready. Ready? Ready. Thank you, the pa. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Flying kiss. She gave one that way. Leah. Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Happiest baby ever. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. The leaf. Almost all the leaves have fallen. <laughs> Can't believe it. Konnichiwa. It's been many, many years since we moved here from the condo. And I know we've been talking about this other house. It's just it's taking a while. It's such a crazy market. I'm sure wherever you're watching this from, real estate is nuts. I can't believe prices just keep going up. And that's really been one of the influences on why we haven't moved. But I'm not complaining. I love, I love Washington. I love this community. I love our neighborhood. I love that we can walk around. Huh. I've been walking around these trails with all the girls since they were Leah's age. Huh. Can I get a love love? Can I get a love love? Mm. How's real estate in your area? Kind of crazy. Rent prices going up. It's like never ending. I really feel for people buying their first home because mortgages are so expensive. Doesn't seem realistic. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here, I think you should walk. My arm's getting tired. Ah! I really pushed uh, how early I could go on walks with the girls. I figured the earlier they learn, the better. Somebody once told me kids actually are capable of a lot more than you give them a chance to try to accomplish. So, 
even letting the girls go down the stairs i've had friends say that they would never do that with their kids but uh it's not like i just let them freely go off on their own down the down the stairs supervised of course look at this girl she could walk a whole mile now come on let's go let's go <laughs> and now the mascot is the purple dragon secret wild friends Mom, thing that they did funny <laughs> now that's the mascot <laughs> he changed the mascot so she's trying to tell me something let's go come on come on cutie pie want a piggyback ride come on Ooh, ah. oh okay come on let's go look at this this is so fun oh okay. Okay, hey, you gotta be careful. Come on, let's go quick, let's go quick, let's go quick. Where's mommy? Wait up. Where's mommy? Do you see mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Whoa! What are you doing scaring us down there? Mommy's trying to scare us. Boom. <laughs> 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 oh, now she's super happy. We're gonna do a quick run to the grocery store. I just need to pick up some fruit and milk. And the girls are excited because they said they get to buy gum. Buy gum? They want to buy gum with their money. Hey honey, is the car still outside? Can we get gum or candy? No, I guess so. Kira, Kira, you need a coat, sweetie. You can't go out like that. Okay. Are we driving? Yes, of course. Yes. Leah? Why are you guys walking through with the shoes? Leah, we're not bringing Blinky. Give me Blinky. Thank you. <laughs> Quick trip to Wally World. Does anybody still call it Wally World? Why or is it just Wally me? Hood, mommy? Cause like Wall, Wally, Wall, Walmart. Wally? They still have watermelons. <laughs> what about it? What? Let's see if we could pick a good one. Oh, uh, Slim Pickens. I think this one. Wait. I don't know. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. We're gonna go with this. The scratches are promising. I think I've heard of this before, but I've never tried it. It says sweet, crispy apple with exceptional flavor and accented with natural russeting at the stem. An opal apple. The opal apple. I don't know, Wait, but it's made in Washington, Mommy, so let's you try it. You know, Janet? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your mask. Oh. oh, okay. You don't need that. That's like if you're sharing with your classmates or something. Finishing. It's so funny because Mia and Kira, they get so excited about going to the grocery store just for the snacks. Whereas JB, she could care less. Last time. Hopefully this works because my phone's out of batteries. I'll have to do B-roll. Daddy! Axolotl, baby. See, mommy, look at me. And she does look like an axolotl. <laughs> Let me know how it looks. Okay, that doesn't sound very fun. What does it mean? Oh. 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 Your mommy and dad were so excited. Yeah? Benji just dropped off a steak at Why is that your smell? Cover your mouth, please. Please cover your mouth. Thank you, thank you. Should, should, will she have some? Juliana, you want me to cut yours up into smaller oh, she's pieces? Like, steak, daddy, steak. Okay. Honey, can you give her a tiny little piece right now? Okay. Hold on. I know daddy will hook it up, girl. <laughs> like, I can feed myself, daddy. I'm a big girl. 
She said thank you. Good girl. Mom and dad were looking at it as if I was like a um, fancy five star and someone's <laughs> chef. Like, oh, what is that? <laughs> Kale and mushrooms as a side and then the steak on rice. The steak is really good. Well, New York strip steak. I'll burn the uh, mushroom for a little bit. This is a sauce that Joanne taught us how to make. We put it into a little mason jar. First time I'm trying that with steak. Two pieces of steak. <laughs> Where's my water cup? That I was using. She knows the good stuff. It's the end of the night. It's actually quite late. It's a late night for us. Yeah, we're watching the show called Animals on Netflix. This is her new thing. I think just going to the grocery store just kind of threw us off. But we're all stocked up in everything we needed. And, um, it's like an hour past her bedtime. She doesn't look the least bit tired. But... Yes, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, her sound effects. Anyways, I just need to take a nice hot shower. Oh, I'm gonna call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Night, night. Good night, Leah.